I'm going to show you guys how to find top dead center compression stroke cylinder number one on your Caterpillar engine. It's pretty easy. I'll just run through it real quick. And also just so you know, the location of this plug that I'm about to show you is different on different Caterpillar engines, but the concept is the same on every single Caterpillar engine as far as I know. Sometimes it's on the driver's side, sometimes it's on the passenger side, but it will always be in the flywheel housing. So keep that in mind. So this here is a Cat 3304 and it is in a 1985-18. And anyways, what all you're gonna do is look underneath the starter here. And if you look under there, we'll see a bolt. Now I put that already in there. That's where the plug is. You pull that plug out and you can slide a bolt into that hole. Now, now what you're gonna do is pop off the valve cover. The reason for this is so that you can see cylinder number one rocker arms. Now remember, the rocker arms are loose when the valves are closed. And when both, and when both valves are closed, you know that there's compression building because the piston's coming up and making pressure. So you wanna keep an eye on cylinder number one rocker arms. Now, you're gonna stand at the front of the engine. The first thing you're gonna do is turn it 30 degrees counterclockwise. Okay, from the, looking at it from the front of the engine, you're gonna turn it 30 degrees counterclockwise. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna take all the, all the lash and all the, the clearance and all that out of the gears. And then after that, you are going to start turning the engine over, looking at it from the front, so from the grill or the blade, whatever it is you're working on, you're gonna start turning the engine clockwise. Now, when that bolt slips in, you'll, you'll feel it slide into a slot and it'll actually thread in. When you feel it slide in, go up and look at your, your cylinder number one rocker arms. And if they're loose on cylinder number one, both of them, then you know you are at top dead center, compression stroke, cylinder number one. And what you can do is you can take that bolt now and you can thread it in and that'll keep your engine exactly where it needs to go. And you can put your injection pump on or do whatever else that is you're doing. But remember, take that bolt out before you start the engine again or else you will have major problems and it'll probably snap off in there hope that helps you guys thanks for watching